we are up and it is, are we nervous about tomorrow? No. Well, I have nothing done. I thought I was doing good and I was getting it all done and now I got nothing done. Like we have to do everything today. I have to go get Chino a rain sheet. I have to go get- Does he have a rain sheet? He has an insulated rain sheet. Oh. We're gonna poo again? You don't think that that will work? It'll be a little warm. Mm -hmm. And I need shavings. Can you stop beside me, please? Those are the worst words. See where she's looking. Where are you looking? <laughs> okay, I can handle that. <laughs> My best friend Didn't care about the rules Good on the weekends I'll be in fools Drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid Just like the moon Look at him I taught him this Just by yesterday Perfect. Just by yesterday she taught it to him She actually, like, don't you find that kids Developmentally go through the same kind of a cycle At different ages, like the same age Like no 10 year old or 9 year old is going to have the same kind of riding as an 11 year old and no 14 year old is going to ride like an 11 year old. She's just starting to come into it. She's going to be, she's, wow that's insane. He's doing so good. Right big boy. He won't jump in it. I was going to stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high what you're saying you know what I mean because mm -hmm. it's not like he thinks all of a sudden there's nothing different in there mm -hmm. I don't know why she puts her hands like that like her wrist she doesn't even like do thumb piano hands she puts like floppy wrists and piano hands yes. and gets yelled at all the time for it and still can't up say what my bra doesn't have that much support oh shoot do you need a new one for riding? Kind of. Okay. I don't want to ask for anything though, Mom. Yeah, she doesn't care about anything. She doesn't ever ask for anything. My size hurt. Excellent. That means you're using them properly. I have to force her to buy stuff. Where is Sophie can find anything in any store we go to? Sophie probably doesn't mind spending her own money on it. Sophie spends all her own money, but I always, any kind of clothes or anything like that, so I A big buy. half up, I bring your elbows straight back, exhale, and then let them go. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. Perfect. Yeah, that was amazing, right? But we've been working so much with the Pelham that she's been able to be consistent in how she asks him to change, that hopefully consistency will pay off for him. And then maybe it's something you throw the Pelham on him once a month to mm -hmm. remind him that she mm -hmm. still has control if he chooses to take advantage. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. Or, yeah. you don't. Same with a pelon. You don't have weight. You pick up and drop, pick up and drop. So he likes to hold. But she's learned with the pelon not to hold. So that's good. Exactly. So now that she's learning and he wants to go into frame and do more, he has to have contact to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. He can frame in a pelon beautifully, but he likes to take advantage of the fact that my head goes down and... I don't have the strength, I don't have contact, so I'm just gonna speed up like a snowball rolling down a hill. Yeah, he's doing so good though. Keep your hands up! So, last year, last year, every year when it's like clover time and he gets those drools, he gets like this. He's a dream horse for the whole time and then he switches again. Well, let's see if we can't keep him like that afterwards. Yeah, I know. Last year I went looking for clover tea. 
love how you fix your hands when you go past me, but nowhere else. You think I can see? I can see everywhere. <laughs> right, baby girl? Mama sees it all. <laughs> Don't you forget it. Big smile. <laughs> she won't be smiling for long. <laughs> Support with your outside rain. We have to collect. Catch him on the outside. She's always looking to see if there's any colors going by that she wants. <laughs> Not a bad thing. Remember, we have haul and release shortly. Don't hold his face. All right, ladies, take a breather. Not with your brap brap hand, with your riding hand. I love Joy Riding Storm. I thought it would be hard for me to see like somebody else riding our horse. I think they're a perfect match. I think that like she could make him go and that's not like a uh, easy thing. You have to like, you know, Gabby even struggled making him go for a long time. Yep. She makes him go. In all honesty though, she rode Emerald for how long? Mm-hmm. And that thing doesn't move either. Yeah, but did you think that it was good? Like, did you? I think were she you did impressed with it. Job. So I liked watching her ride him. Like, yeah. and it's hard to like let somebody else just ride your horse and have it a is. lesson. But I never felt stressed. I felt like she was up there, and I felt like Storm was in a happy place. I do too. I think that, and that's the easiest part on the owner. And just watching that made me like see how much Storm really wants that. Like, Put that's what he back wants. A little bit and straighten your stack. Thank you. Yep. Straighten your stack. Your but, stack of plates. Probably won't be told that very many times. There, that's lovely. And then add a little bit of leg, but don't give away the rein. We want to close the fingers, close the leg, and have his withers pop up in front of you. Outside leg in the corner, outside leg, outside leg, outside leg. A little bit more up. A little more legs, step him up in front of you, but don't ask him to go faster. Remember, we send the energy forward, we catch it with our hands, we recycle it back through our seat into our legs. Send him forward, catch it in the hands. The energy should feel like it comes from behind and up in front of your chest. Yeah, there you go. Look how light he is. <laughs> the goal is not to hear his feet hit the ground. If you hear his feet hitting the ground, he's on his forehand. If you can't hear his feet, he's on his hindquarters pushing forward. And yes, it can be done with even heavy horses. Yay. Lovely. I heard his sheath one on his feet. Yeah, that's slow what your rise, Sophia. Bring your lower leg back underneath you. He's gonna scoot forward, but that's okay. Take a big breath. Half halt, release. And slow your bootay. How slow can you take to get from the saddle to the air? From the air to the saddle. Wanna float up and float down. <laughs> okay. There you go. And breathe while you're floating. It will help your horse. Get your hands out of your crotch. Doesn't mean shorten your reins. I think when you push your hands away, you rise faster because your legs are out in front of you again. Your legs have to be back underneath you. I can hear him. I can. That's better. What does your watch do? I don't know. When you're 14, you don't make sense. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. Inside leg, push him out a little bit. Good, I like those legs better. Now just tighten your thigh and breathe a little bit. Tighten your core. Not yet. Oh. <laughs> now Gabby's asking to walk. Keep the leg back, tighten the thigh, and I want you to take that belly muscle and tighten it up. Yes, not the hand, the belly muscle. Oh, slow your booty down. Breathe big like you want him to walk. And push your hand away. Yes, there you go. Wow, that looks totally different. Do it again. Breathe like you want him to walk. 
So I noticed a big difference in him from last night to today. Yeah. He's faster and no. he had his head down on the ground the whole night last night. Yes, it is. Contact, release. See how the reins bang against his neck all the time? Uh, this way you mean? Like, the, see how they're moving and they rub against him and they yes. touch him? I think that's why he shakes his head. He, he, does, he doesn't like it. He's irritated. He, yeah, like it, it's annoying to him. All right, let's walk. Saturday. All right, so we've got some new things happening. Do you guys notice? Do you notice the new things? Just to see, we're just trying it to see what's Take happening. One horse graduated and one horse is they turned it out. Graduated. They both he graduated. graduated. He graduated from uh, Martingale. Let's, let's prep ourselves up and canter. Pep ourselves up. Let's go. So let's find our uphill walk. He's <laughs> like, what is this? Is Keep yourself some space. So that you I'm sure he's worn one before. <laughs> you just need to get him so that you're ready to ask for your canter. You know what walk you need to have for your canter? What with the horse? Yeah. Canter from a walk. You have such a nice pony now. Whenever you're ready, ladies. Speed it up. Let's go. Oh. He's flipping his head up like he wants to go, like he does that stupid head flip thing yeah. and he gets caught. Yeah. So, and when you're ready. In last night's lesson. Keep your hands straight. In last night's lesson, Chino was doing something and Brandon called Gabby on it and said, Why is he doing that? And Gabby said he learned it from Gary. <laughs> it was really funny. Test. This is a true test. Big half halt release. Good girl. We don't hold him. We ask and let him go. We ask and let him go. He's got to carry himself. I can hear it move from side to side. Signing up. Grip with your thigh. Tighten your core. Big half halt and let him go. Good girl. Every time you feel him start to get up, get him down. Now, bigger. Woo. There, bigger. Better. Now don't let him get any faster. Every time, sit him down. Gabby, recycle that energy, even in light seat. Close your leg, tighten your core, catch the energy with your hand. Recycle it back down. He's taking my cues very seriously now. Good. Circle! It's been doing okay. Well done, ladies. I know. <laughs> That's the thing, she can do it now. Your sister. Like, she can ride now. I know she can. She's been able to ride for a while. Shortly. Lee change. She has a quiet Maybe voice, eh? Hey? Selfie, go across the arena. Just kidding her. Don't worry about anything else. Gabby, circle. <laughs> Did you even feel it? Yes. <laughs> it was wobbly. It was wobbly. I keep, keep. Walk. Nobody can hear. Walk. <laughs> that was a perfect lead change. Front and back. I thought you were gonna have to break to skip the back end and he just went, no, I got it. Because you know why? 
You rode straight and balanced. What? <laughs> like nothing. You just were like, I'm just cantering. I'm just a diagonal. I'm not going to lean. I'm not going to bend my horse. I'm not going to ask. I'm just going to canter. And he went, Here you go. Just that hate And then he does. I just randomly turned. Oh, wait, no, we're going straight. And then he was like, Oh, lead change? And I'm like, No. <laughs> and then I'm like, Okay. All right, let them breathe for a minute. So walk. We just found something in the show. Rules that said breeding will not be allowed because of COVID. So your horse's mane is looking ugly. I feel bad for not breeding it. When you're ready, commit and go. Commit. Yes. Oh no! <coughs> uh oh. Trouble in the. So we've got the wrong lead, so let's breathe it down. Try it again. So breathe, big half off. Mind your breathe off first. <coughs> My hands are straight. I love it. <laughs> outside, 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 outside. Put a wall up. Better, Sophia. It's been like crazy. I couldn't even video. Like, it's been a lot of stuff I happening. I bolting around to the jump. Okay, so first of all, what happened was what, Sophie? Um, we did have one refusal. Just wait, we how did you ride, ride in this lesson? How did Finn ride in this lesson? Good. In a? Softer bit. Yeah. So, uh, Fiona changed the way the reins hook up to the, the bit. Connectors. The connectors. And she he rode in a snaffle. So, he rode this lesson in a snaffle. He was doing good. He was doing good. He was doing good. And then, all of a sudden, he was like, oh, I can do whatever I want because she has no control. And then, he got uh, really fast on her again. And so, we put it back. And... Uh, we decided that we are now transitioning Finn from the Pelham. So we're not just going to take away the Pelham and say, here you are, you're good. We're going to transition him slowly. And she will have that bit in her in her locker. And maybe she'll use it once a month to school him if he gets out of hand again. But it's going to be a transition. Don't expect it to happen really, really fast. It's going to be sometimes she uh, uses it as a snaffle and sometimes she uses the bit and we might end up doing the two rain things because Fiona thinks that she might be ready for that which would be great. Don't you know that you're beautiful?